Hello, this is video six of the Hart Lecture Series for 2402. All right, now this graph you see over here on the right, it's, a com it's sort of a combination graph. And it looks overwhelming at first, but if you break it down into parts, it's not so bad. You have it in your book, you have access, I'll, they'll have access to it on the power, on the uh, just straight up PowerPoints. So I've got some labels here. Top graph is, top, top graph's the EKG, and you can see the, the uh, P wave, QRS, and then uh, T wave over here. So they kind of stretched it out. The second graph in the middle here, right there, shows uh, pressures. So aortic pressure uh, gets up to a high of about 120 and about a low of 80, right? That's what your blood pressure is supposed to be roughly, and this is just kind of a generic one. You can see the left ventricle in blue, very low when it's filling, or when it's, when it's empty, I should say. Uh, or filling, that's correct, when it's filling, and then it starts contracting, and so this contraction shoots the pressure up, catches up with aortic pressure, which then pushes the blood and they equalize. Uh, there's a little hiccup here called a dichrotic notch, but we're not gonna worry about that in lecture at least. And then you're gonna get the blood drain. This, this aortic pressure going down is the aorta distributing that blood to all the other arteries that your body needs the blood distributed to. Left atrium just has a couple of little hitches right here, fairly low blood pressure the whole time because it's kind of a passive filling of the uh, of the ventricle. You, you kind of top it off right here if you look at this little bump, like a little bit of top off and then let the ventricle do the work. Third graph shows uh, volumes uh, of both ventricles that are the same, same amount gets pumped out of each one. So any given ventricle is filling up and you can see this is in milliliters, this one's in pressure, millimeters of mercury, uh, filling up and it's at its maximum volume, and you can see that at this point, the ventricle starts to contract, and as it contracts, it pushes the blood out of the ventricle, right? And then you begin the, the process of refilling it until you're ready for the next cycle of contraction. Bottom graph uh, just shows where the blood is, and it's kind of small here, I understand, but you can see the blood flow pathway, uh, at which times and these guys are all synced up right so remember when I said that the uh, P wave was atrial depolarization well and it says right there precedes atrial contraction if I follow it straight down as that atrium I'm starting at the beginning of it H beginning of that and you can see that the atrium depolarize uh, sorry the atrium contracts uh, after that here's ventricular depolarization and if I follow this down, it's right before the ventricle contracts. Uh, cool, that's all I got for that image. You do have to, this is really, I'm not gonna put this graph on the lecture quizzes or anything, uh, but it, this is a really good graph to get you to understand how all these things are related, right? The electrical stimuli cause the mechanical stimuli with whose job it is is to pump blood out of the heart, out to the body. So you've got these filling and uh, contracting cycles over and over and over and over. That's the end of video six.